so I'm about to do this really isn't a cooking with tummy it's more so a vlog so we're just trying something new we're making oxtails I love to go to a Jamaican restaurant and get some oxtails with rice and peas so today we're gonna attempt to make our own I am following a recipe I found on YouTube I will link the video in the description box but if you want to follow along with me let's go i went to the store and i got a single package of oxtails i wanted to go to a butcher called a butcher um and it was like we ain't got no oxtails so i went to walmart they ain't had no oxtails so i went to a store that usually has really good meats and i got some oxtails so and these cost your girl 16.75 y'all oxtails have gone up so much but anyway here we go i'm gonna wash these i have some water right here i got my vinegar so i'm about to put these in the water i'm about to wash these oxtails off and let them get in the vinegar rub them good so let's go Clean the pan, put these back in here. I chopped up the um, bell pepper and, and the bell peppers. Forgot to buy an onion. That's okay, we'll get one. But I got onion powder, garlic powder, and onion salt. So anyway, but that garlic. And I almost bought some garlic today. But I said, we probably got some garlic because I used to keep garlic on hand. Time. I ain't got no fresh time, but I got some time. How much time? How much time? She said a few springs of fresh time. Now nah, we're just gonna sprinkle a little time up in there. And that was that all natural time. A pinch of black pepper, all purpose seasoning. We just gonna throw it in there. How much all purpose seasoning? Half a tablespoon, a teaspoon. Just gonna sprinkle that up in there. And then what she said do have a teaspoon of salt i'm gonna use himalayan sea salt because sorry himalayan pink salt okay i'm not okay well i got this i got the the salt in there the garlic salt here we go boom that garlic salt Dang it, I was supposed to buy some olive oil because I think I'm out. Oh, not my olive oil. Oh, Lord. 
It's gonna make it salty. <laughs> We're gonna put in like so much water. So. <sighs> I try my best. Hey okay, y'all, so I got them in here. I didn't have any browning. I tried to find y'all. They had everything but goddamn browning. I'm like, what do I gotta do to get that caramel color? But anyway, I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator overnight and we'll take it out and see what it do tomorrow. Might have to add some browning later. So it's the next day and I have the stove on. I have a little bit of olive oil in the pan. And what I'm doing now is I'm going to braise the oxtails. That's what the woman um, did whose video that I am referencing. So I put these in this pan and I'm just putting them in one by one, one with the hot oil and I'm letting it cook just a little bit on each side and then flipping and I did that for nearly like 20 minutes or so, letting it br get braised and brown all over. She said to mix up four tablespoons of ketchup, four tablespoons of soy sauce, and then add in some brown sugar. So I added that, the ketchup, soy sauce, and a table teaspoon of brown sugar. Here we are. That's what we looking like, y'all. I didn't have no browning. Some see some sauce called browning, but I didn't have none of that. How long you been cooking on that? Since six o'clock. But I bo I braised them first. How you braised them? I let them do what they do with some oil. Let them flop them a couple times. And now the butter beans are almost cooked through. The oxides are looking a lot more tender. But the gravy just needs to get a little bit thicker. So I'm just going to leave I'm pretty sure this is done. The gravy has, it's not really, really thick, but it's definitely pretty thick. I think, I mean, it could be a little thicker. So I'm trying to see some more water's gonna evaporate out there, but it's really not that much in here. Like, I'm trying to see how much stays in the thing. But I'm pretty sure this is doing. Oxtail, y'all. I've been cooking these things since six o'clock. That I have this blanket on my window. And I don't want y'all to think I don't have curtains. It's being sheared in white. So much sunlight comes in, so like I try to cover it up as much as possible. It's just too much sunlight, so don't <laughs> don't get any thoughts. It's just too bright in here. Yeah, I'm really enjoying this. Like I get my food from Jamaican place a lot, and they have oxtails with rice and peas. But this right here, can we can we get into that? I really, I really like this. Made me a little rice. 
I'm really liking that. It took me dang near two and a half hours to cook this. Well, I'm not here to eat in front of y'all like that, but. It's good. I'm not saying it's the best, but it's good. And I didn't even have the scotch bunnet pepper. Like, I think that allspice is really giving it like this extra back little bitty kick in the back in there. I don't know. That's quite tasty. Keenan's gonna come over. He's gonna try it and tell y'all what it is or what it ain't. So let's see. Tell me what you think. <laughs> My first time making it, so I'm open to all sorts of criticism. Okay. I like the seasoning. The bean. What's the bean? It ain't cooked all the way. I mean, it's a little, still a little crumbly little bite to it. Okay. The bean. But the oxtail, though. The oxtail is good. I like it. My first time having it. Good job, Tommy Joe. Thank you, Chef. Last bit of my oxtails. But. It's really good, y'all. My last two oxtails. 